previously with King Dedede. Donkey Kong Country. Now back to King Dedede. Hey there everybody, King Dedede here and I am going to be playing a new game today. It's called Donkey Kong Country. Now this game is a really, really great SNES game, and I think that... <sighs> Another person or thing dropping out of nowhere. And it looks like... <laughs> oh! Holy crap! It's Donkey Kong himself! <laughs> so Donkey... How's it been going? Yeah. All right, seriously, Donkey, no one can understand you. All righty then. Well, um, I guess we're going to be doing a dual game review then. Wait a minute, you're British? That's right, DDD. I am, in fact, British. All righty then. Well then, let's just pop this cartridge in. <laughs> All right, Donkey Kong, let's get ready to play. I do say. Donkey Kong Country, a phenomenal Super Nintendo game that nobody with a Super Nintendo collection should miss. It is a must-have for the system. So the game's basic premise is that Donkey Kong's banana horde has been stolen by King K. Rool and the evil Kremlin crew. Just like if you're looking here, the Kong's banana horde is gone. And it's up to Donkey Kong and his buddy Diddy Kong to save the banana horde. Now the thing about this game that makes it so great is that it's a, some people would call it a 2.5D platformer, but I see it as a 2D platformer. As you can probably tell, the graphics look phenomenal, even to this day. And don't even get me started on the music. Let's just say, your ears are in for one heck of a ride. Just listen. And this is only one of the many phenomenal DKC tracks that this game has to offer. Now, whenever it comes to controls, you just hold Y to run, B to jump, Y to pick up stuff, and A or select to switch your characters. DK is the strong, slow one, while Diddy is the fast and nimble yet weaker one. And they balance each other out perfectly. Now, even with all this great music, this great atmosphere, and these phenomenal graphics and controls, that doesn't hide the fact that Donkey Kong Country is hard. If you're afraid of game overs, then this game isn't for you. This game is challenging beyond belief. Now along your adventure, you'll meet numerous other Kongs that'll help you out, such as Cranky Kong, the original Donkey Kong from the arcade, and nowadays Donkey Kong's father. And he gives you really helpful hints, but most of the time, he just complains a lot. You've also got Funky, who, uh, 
helps you get your butt across the bodacious island, as he puts it. Yeah, Funky Kong's a surfer, if you weren't able to tell. And then there's Candy Kong. She is imperative to the game. You have to save at her place. Which, let's just say, her save points are few and far between. So, save any chance you can get. Now, across your journey of DK Isle, you'll go through seven worlds. The first world is Congo Jungle. The second world is Monkey Mans. The third one's Vine Belly. The fourth is Gorilla Glacier. The fifth is Crim Croc Industries Incorporated. The sixth is Chimp Caverns. And the final world is Gangplank Galleon. K Rules Hideout. Congo Jungle is your usual first world stuff. It's rather easy. And it helps you get into the swing of the game. The first boss of this world is a beaver named Very Naughty. And, uh, that's it. That was the first boss. The Monkey Mines is your usual minecart level, which anybody who's played Donkey Kong Country knows for a fact that these are some of the best levels in the game. They're fun and fast-paced. Nobody can forget these memorable levels. The boss of this world is Master Neki. And all you gotta do is just jump on his head. It's rather simple, actually. In fact, I just beat him right now. See? Moving on. Vine Valley is your forest-like place where Donkey and Diddy have to go through more trials and tribulations, but honestly, it's a really hard stage. The boss of this world is a giant bumblebee, which honestly, is pretty boring. All you do is throw a barrel at it, wait for it to stop being invincible, and then throw another barrel at it. It's much easier if you did. Moving on. The Gorilla Glaciers is your typical ice level. And by typical, I mean, I already stated in the opening that this game was challenging. Add a nice level to it, and you've only got half of the pain. The boss of this world is really naughty. And he's essentially just a reskinning of very naughty. Nothing more to talk about. Moving on. Creme Croc Industries Incorporated. That's a long level title, by the way is a factory level, and by far, one of the best worlds in the game. I mean, the music track that plays here is Fear Factory. Just have a listen. It really gives a sense of scariness, and an atmosphere that shows that you're getting to the more mechanical parts of this island. I wish I could say the same for the boss. Literally, it's just survive a wave of enemies. Try not to get crushed. And it's super boring. Next. Now, Chimp Caverns is a creepy looking cave level full of cantankerous Kremlings that you must claw your chimpy way out of. What do you think of that, Art? What do you think of that, DK? Why, it is very good. 
I probably wouldn't have came up with it by myself, but, um, eh, keep on reviewing. Alright, um, this level is definitely the hardest. And the boss here? Gosh darn it! It's another reskin! It's a reskin of Master Neki! They just decide, oh yeah, let's change it from pink to purple, and then just slap it as a new boss. Just moving on! Now, Donkey Kong and I are gonna be covering the final level of the game right now. So, do not get spoiled if you don't want a spoiler. You have been warned. That's my line. The Gangplank Galleon, the final world. All there is is a boss fight. And that boss is King K. Rule himself. The music is phenomenal. The atmosphere, so atmospheric. The mechanics of the boss, so right. Everything about this boss is just a great finale to a great game. Yes, I beat him! And there's the credits. Wow, what a phenomenal game. In the end, Donkey Kong Country is a phenomenal Super Nintendo game. And d d d d d look at the screen! What? What? Wait a minute, what, what are you talking about, DK? Wait a minute, what, what are you talking about? Whoa, whoa, what? Wait a minute, he's back! He's, he's back! <laughs> what? There's another form? Nah, guess I'll have to start over again. Once you actually beat King K. Rule, Seriously, that was a mean fake out that they did. You get the ending. Where Cranky Kong praises DK and Diddy for their hard work trying to get the Kong's banana hole back. And that's it. See? Look how happy DK is. And then you get a cast of characters. You get to see all the bad guys, the bosses, and even the Kongs themselves. And it's just a phenomenal end to a phenomenal game. In the end, Donkey Kong Country is a phenomenal game and one of the best on the Super Nintendo. In fact, it's the second best game on the Super Nintendo. I might be reviewing the best in a little bit. But overall, I give this game a 10 out of 10. This is King Needity. I don't get fun. And we are out. Well, DK, I guess I'll see you later. Well, tally ho, my good friend, King Needity. And, uh, tally hiddle to you, too. <sighs> now I can just go and rel- Oh no, what is that? Stay, stay there. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, no, no, no! <laughs> oh no, sire, I must, I must help you. Do not worry, Wattle I am just fine. Will King Dedede stay in this sleep-like state for very long? Will Kirby be able to stop the evil thing possessing King Dedede? And will King Dedede succeed in trying to kill Kirby? Find out next time when Kirby reviews Kirby's Dreamland 3. Now, here's a couple of bloopers where I forget my line. So, 
in the end, Donkey Kong Country is a phenomenal game, and wait a minute, wait a minute, diddy, a doodly, 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 In the end, Donkey Kong Country is a phenomenal game for the Super Nintendo. Diddy, doodly, 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 I keep on saying diddy. Ha 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 